hello guys you are also you are welcome to another tutorial of this series so today we'll be talking on css introduction to css and before we continue please if you haven't subscribed to the channel do so by clicking the subscribe button below and turning on the notification bell to get notified whenever i drop a new video so last week we spoke of uh, form tax and anchor tax and we saw the various form tax and today we'll be talking about the uh, uh, css so the first thing you need to understand is that there are two types of css we have the inline css and we have the external css so let's get a basic html document format and we put the title to be introduction to css so we have it as the introduction to css and let's just give it like an h1 tag so with this h1 tag let us just say hello world and in this h1 tag you have to i want to explain the two types of of uh, styling that we have so basically when we spoke of inline styling i mean something like this you put here you can say styles equals to you put that so inside this i can put like color should be something like red and i save so basically this is what you have so you have color red so a low word appears on the screen with a red color so maybe you wanted to change the font size you can just say something like you can say something like font size should be let's say 4m your font size is 4m so for rem is some like a measuring unit you can use centimeters meters pixels for example if we had to use something like 50 pixels we have something like this maybe with uh, it was a hundred and fifty pixels you have something bigger as this so it basically depends on what you want to use so you can use rem you can use pixels you can use whatever you think is okay for you so this one is inline styling so another type of styling is the one where you add it to the header tag because you can come over here and you just say style you have open and close style and then basically what you have to do here is that you write your css code so let us before we continue let's add something like an h2 and in this h2 let's just say hello world again again okay so this is the hello world that we have so in here we want to start that h2 tag let us just say h2 like this when you open it this way you can just say color let's say blue and we see what happens so the color changes to blue so this is another way of uh, styling your page so what css does is css adds more functionality to your website it makes it to look befitting and better so it's just like the body of your website like it, it makes it to look good so also another type of css that we have is like linking an external style sheet so what you have to do is you have to create an external style sheet with a dot css and the extension like this one that we have here if you don't know how to do you can just come over here you click on this plus new file you just say in uh, let me say style to dot css click on enter so you basically have it so for you to type your code here and it runs you have to link it up so how do you link it up you come over here to the head region you come after the title you can put link something like this so you have put link real in real you put equals to you open the two semicolons uh, sorry the inverted open and close you put style sheet then you put the href which points to the directories to where your styling file is found so basically it is not found in a file but they are found in the same folder so i can just say style to dot css i click on this so i save so basically now if we come over here and we say 
body you want to style the body you just say background color should be red let's just say something like this this is what you see so the body now has a red background color so if you came here for example let's come over here and we like remove this sorry so if we remove this and we kind of remove also the styling in here and we say we have this so now you can come over here and you change it like we don't want the background to be red we just want a white background i want it that every color should be blue the color throughout the body should be blue so you have that okay so i have shown you guys so far how to link the different types of css and from this the inline css and the external css the external css is the best css why because you don't want something in case where you build your site and then somebody comes in and can see all the styling in which you use for your website and also it gets to make your codes look longer in the html in the index of the html so the external styling is mostly used by most coders or programmers so now we're gonna talk about uh, we're gonna talk about colors so normally a color now so for you to like work on styles at times styles link will uh, mostly work with classes so you have to know how to use classes for so for example maybe your heading here you wanted that heading one should have something like a class of let me say it should be a blue a blue text you just say class blue so when you come to styling <coughs> every class is in the css start with a dot then you put the class name blue so one day color of this guy to be pink so you save it you see the color changes to pink so classes actually points to specific elements so we have pointed to a specific element for example let us create another h1 tag and see something so we still have h1 and we say hello world and we control s you see another hello world i've added here it's an h1 tag but it doesn't have what the pink color but this one also is an h1 tag that has the pink color but if we are doing inline styling here for example we gave like an inline styling for an h1 maybe it can just work for all of them or we did external so here this basically this is how this one works so you can choose different types of colors that you want for a particular design you want for example you want it to have a background color of maybe let's say purple something like this and then you just want it to like with the background color purple you just want it to be um the width should be auto mm -hmm. okay let's just allow it that way so it basically takes the maximum space in which it is supposed to take so when you talk about the background color now it determines what is on the background we can like there are many uh, css styling that you learn along the way something like you want to align the text to center you say text stroke align you can talk about center and we have that positioned at the center so basically they are just colors like for example let's try to make a dot green class i will just say color you say green so oh this gray let's say green something like this and we'll come over here and then we just give it a class of green so we save it um so double e you see so you see the second heading here changes to green so basically for you to add color you have to point to the specific element in which you want to 
you want the change to occur so you see you can make good use of classes in css so the next thing we're going to be talking about here is font size so font size basically is the size of the text or the size of an element for example if you want the this particular heading to have a font size of about 50 pixels it can be 50 pixels maybe you want it to have a size of about 70 pixels instead you will have a, a size of 70 pixels 80 pixels you can have 90 pixels you can have 100 pixels you can have 200 pixels so it basically depends on what you want so or how you want it to look like so that is basically what we call the font size now let's talk about the font width so the font width now for the font stroke weight it talks about the boldness of your text. let's give it a font width of 10 pixels Mm, it won't change because that's a heading tag and normally they have a default heading so you can see let's just say sorry about that so delete this, this, this let's say bolder something like bolder you have that so we can target an element for you guys to see more on what i'm talking about on the phone with let's span an element for example a span tag is just used it's just like something it displays a particular span element like let me just say hello world again and i save it so this is the span element so the span element basically has a different kind of structure you see it's smaller than the headings and it is not bold so we can just say dot span and uh, let's say color should be black and we we'll come over here we're gonna give the span element a class of span and we save and we see that the color here directly changes to black okay so let us give this guy a font size a font size of about 50 pixels and we see how it grows bigger and now we want to give him a font weight to be something like bolder and we see how it's thicker now so that is basically why bolder works so we can also talk about backgrounds here so we talk about uh background so basically as we saw up there how over here how we induce a background so you just say back ground stroke color and we have this so we just have want to give it a background color of of a purple again and we close this so it has a background color of purple so this is how you insert background so you can put any kind of color you want so also there is also a recommendation of color code you can go to w this course you the w tools can give you a possibility of having different color codes so also in this course or in the today's tutorial we'll talk about merging and padding so let's talk about merging and padding with this one here so they definitely what the padding does is that it increases the space of something of the element in the space within it is found for example we can give this element a margin so it can imagine top left bottom or any way you want it so we'll let, let me just give a whole margin so we introduce a margin of 10 pixels let's see what happens so it tilts towards itself something like a string so let me put it at a hundred pixels a hundred pixels so you see there's a certain amount of uh, pulling that it is providing for uh, the, the element so when we talk about the padding now in this case like something like padding so padding basically now will turn to shield the element away from the external like from the edges of the element structure so let's just give a padding of 10 pixels and you see so you see the way it is the external of the element kind of shields away like if we go up to a hundred pixel 
you see what happens like let me put it down at a like 50 pixels let's see the result so 50 pixels is still too much but if i enlarge this you see the result well so this is the result gives it a pattern where it increases from the external of the external structure of of the content to which the spam element is found so we have spoken about margin and padding now let's talk about width and height so for example okay let's come in the html here and we define something like a div okay instead of saying a div if you are using visual studio code you can just put dot the class name let's just say dot width you click enter so it creates a div so what we're gonna do in the css over here since we said when you want to start up a class start with a dot then we put a div okay let's give it a background color of red you see it so we don't see anything so if we come here now and we we'll say this much you have a height of a hundred pixels and a width of 200 pixels we have we will see it right now so it's hiding somewhere behind i'm sure okay so let's come over here i'll remove this margin and padding i will save it so this div didn't work so i need to change the class name from div to something else let me say uh bg so we spoke about bg i will come here and just say class Oh, I did a, made a mistake. PG. Okay. So that is the div element. So what the width and height does is that it specifies the width and the height of a particular element, which is measured in pixels or percentage. So if we came over here or VH also and WV. So you can talk about the width to be something like a hundred percent. So it fits the width of what is available. You can talk of something like 80%, it gives you 80% the width and vice versa. So basically, these are the basic things we have learned today. So in our today's series, we covered maximum to know how like to put how the various styling works, adding more functionality to our site and uh, giving backgrounds, changing the color, changing the font size, font weight, and uh, width and height also we spoke about margin and padding in this series so in our next tutorial we're going to see many things about css we're going to see positions we're going to see the various display properties we're going to see so many styling properties so i thank you all for having been watching so far and today there another video will be dropped on the on this very channel on the wordpress series and that will go run us through the wordpress installation and all that stuff so if you are following that course do so by checking it out and also click the notification bell after subscribing so you get notified whenever a new course is dropped out i thank you all for watching and you all stay blessed so we'll see you in our next tutorial